Hello, Hello Bill. Hey. Hi, everybody. Welcome. So, um, today I'm going to can cheese live. I've already kind of done the whole Julia Child thing. I've got some already melting in the oven. I'm going to show you how you do now, and then I'm going to pull them out like they've we've just made them, and we will all cheer and applaud how quickly that that works. You have to do the noises like to, her, though. I used to. Yeah. Oh, oh, there go. <laughs> I don't know if I can do a British accent or <laughs> cookie and all. Right the magic, though. the magic of television. <laughs> I just love, there's a commercial right now that they're making a movie about making her videos. And I just, it just cracks me up. Every time I see it, I just start laughing hysterically. Have you, now this is just all totally completely off, but have you ever seen the movie Julia's Julia? No, I need you to. have to watch it because it's wonderful. To. It's it really is. wonderful. It's all inspired by Julia Child. It's great. Oh, oh, Bruce, you know I done lost my mind long ago. It's somewhere in it's somewhere in the basement. It's in Bob's basement. Oh. Hey, Hendo. Bruce is here. Nate Mitch, welcome. Thank you. I saw you last night on um Fish is live. Good to see you again. Oh. Courtney, of course, and Gil and Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Hendo. Hey, Hendo. We're making cheese. So we're making cheese self-stable, I should say. We're not actually making the cheese. Because I don't make cheese, I'm going to can some cheese. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, my inspiration is Cat's Cradle. It's another uh, YouTube channel. I will post the link much later in the description. I love her videos. She's a prepper and she does a bunch of stuff, but she hasn't made a video in over eight years. I kind of worry about her. I hope she's okay. If you if you are out there and you ever see this tribute to you, please contact me. I'd like to meet you. I, I want a fangirl for a little bit, but she does some great stuff. So I've set up the camera. Um. You want to make sure I've been making a whole bunch of it, so I've already got a dirty knife here. But this, you would want to start out with everything sanitized, everything very, very clean. I don't even want the cheese to touch my cutting board that's clean. I'm going to cut it all up right on the packaging. I'm not going to touch it with my bare hands. I have washed my hands. Um, you could also use some food grade gloves, it would be very much recommended. That's what she did. But you cut your cheese into cubes. Uh, and of course, it cut, touched my cutting board. I did that last time too. But the goal here is so that it doesn't touch your touch your cutting board. And then you want to pack it right into the corners of your sanitized jar. So get that right in there. You don't want many air spaces. You can use different kinds of cheeses, mild cheeses work better sharp cheeses will definitely be more crumbly and not as smooth and not give you as good a texture i'm looking for something especially with the cream cheese that i can spread mm. um but i'm also doing gouda and i'm doing mild cheddar today so you'll see those when they come out of the oven okay cool i don't like gouda though i love gouda but you can use like i want to use swiss but they used all the Swiss on homemade pizzas last night. So. How are you doing this morning, Bill? I'm doing pretty good. Does this make you want to bake some bread or something? Uh, no, actually, I'm, I, it makes me want to uh, actually think about, um, try, you know, and I froze Go, going to, going across the street to one of my cargo containers and see if I can get one of the um, good um, propane stoves over here so I can actually use the uh, pressure canner. Mm -hmm. It's actually a 20 minute water bath. It is not a pressure can thing and you need your oven too. So you can see there's some air gaps in there. You want to kind of push this down if you can with something clean and sterilized 
and just try to get all of those air gaps that you can. See that big air bubble? Mm -hmm. Just go right down in there, push everything right down to the bottom. So basically, it's like you're burping it. Yes. It depends. Okay. Yep. Try to get as much of it down in there. Remember, it's going to melt in the oven, so you don't have to really get too worried. It's all going to melt down into those spaces. So say, that, the main thing I have an issue, like I would have an issue with, is getting it clean around the rim. Yeah. Well, it's going to be melted. Okay. So it's going to, all the oil and stuff is going to be kind of flowing back down in there. Okay. And it's going to fill. Your, your oil is going to come out of your cheddar cheeses, and you're going to have a skim of oil. You do want that. Let me say that again. Yes, you do want to keep that. That is part of your cheese. You take that out, it's not going to be the same consistency. It's going to be nasty. So you want to leave that oil in. Cream cheese doesn't have the oil like the other stuff does. You know, you could make um, some spreads by adding a few things to it. You know, you could add some garlic right now. You could add some Worcestershire sauce. You could make it almost like I make my cheese ball. Um, I'm not going to add any fresh vegetables or things like that that I would add because of only water bathing it for 20 minutes. That would not be approved. So there's another one. I got one more for the second batch. But I just wanted to show you, these are half pints and an entire eight ounce block of cream cheese will cook in a half pint. So again, and with this, you know, since you're only water bathing it for 20 minutes, you wanna really be as clean and sterile, not get your hands in there. And if possible, not even let it touch your cutting board. Even if your cutting board is clean and sanitized, the less contact with other surfaces, the better. Because that's where you're going to introduce your bacteria and contamination. So. Um, Lewis wanted to know, he says, does it have to be 20 minutes no matter your elevation? Um, no. If you, with water bathing... If you are at a higher elevation, then you are to water bath longer. I'm at the middle. I'm at 10,000. So for me, it's 20 minutes. If you have a higher elevation, you're going to add time just like you do for everything else. Yeah. So. That's packed in there. And you might notice I'm using a device that does not have, it's all one piece. It doesn't have any cracks. I wouldn't use a spatula to do this because you can't, it's not ever as clean as something that's all one piece. And it's just to make sure that you don't introduce any kind of foodborne illness into your cheese. And you don't want to use cheese that has um, bacteria introduced into it. I wouldn't use a Ruckerford or a blue cheese um, for this. Hey, Blue. Although I have seen Ruckerford in the stores sold in, in cans. You guys have no idea how great of an idea this is because... We've been to the store multiple times, and each time they have not had cream cheese. I just happened to get this on sale months ago, and so I want to get it put up before it goes bad. This one says it's good till October of 2022, So, but I wanted to get it put up. So again, you see there's some bubbles in there. I'm going to kind of work with them when I get them in, but I want to show you. I have some that's been in the oven now for a little while. And I want to pull those out and show you Julia Child style. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so. 
So you'll see that I put these into the oven on low heat. You can see the oil, it's bubbling right up. And you can see that these ones that I had to slice into cubes are not very full. So again, don't want to use your fingers. But I've, I've put these in a roasting pan. The water is halfway up on the canning jars. And I'm just going to go add some more cheese to these. So that I get them filled up to the half inch headspace. That makes sense. So. And again, I'm not using my fingers to touch these. You could use food grade gloves if you had them. But I'm just, you know, trying to get them as full as I can. May have to add some. I got some more cheddar in the refrigerator. May have to add some shredded cheddar. And then you can see this one has got quite, maybe you can't see that one. See, this, this here has quite a bit of oil in it. So I want to make sure that I, I leave that in, but I don't um, fill that up too much more because I want to keep the oil. I don't want it to overflow and lose it. So. And I wanted to do some Swiss, but they ate my Swiss last night. Homemade pizza night is always the best. All right, so the uh, the orange is cheddar cheese, which you're putting in right now, is the Gouda. This is Gouda. And you can see the cream cheese is not really melted down as much as the other two. So I'm going to take my knife and just go down in there so that it can get down into those spaces. You can see there's some right down in there now. So it starts going down and it's got kind of a crust on top. It's not not going down as well as the others. Because it was really full to start. So again, just going to push it, push it down. See if I can't get it out to those edges. Make sure that it all goes down in and the air bubbles come up to the top. I know you can't see the bubbles I'm working with from your angle, but I can see them from mine. All right, I'm just going to put this one back in the oven for a few more minutes. So the rest of this, I'm going to grab some extra, some extra cheese. Doing that, uh, the cream cheese might be something my wife might want to do. It's, it's really handy to have like a spread on hand. You know, you can open this up and have, have a, a real quick cheese spread. This is cheddar in Monterey. That's what we have, so that's what we're going to add in here. And again, eight ounces is what will fit when you're going to the store to buy. And my roasting pan here that I use for my hams will take 10 jars. Uh, Nate asked the question of how long does this last for you? I usually do things that the lids say 18 months and I will use it. I will probably use it before two years are up. I haven't let it go longer than that. I've only done one other batch. I follow the cat's cradle method. I really like her. If you haven't seen that channel, she hasn't made anything new in quite a while. 
I think it's been about eight years since she's made a new video. But I really do like her video. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one back in here. So, I'm going to ask you guys one more time not to be out here while I'm doing this. Uh, I am going to go ahead and get rid of this camera so that I can also get rid of the coffee boy behind me. <laughs> there you go. Pass them aquatic. So, again, the oven is just at 250. I'm not trying to bake the cheese. It could probably even go down a little bit lower, but I just wanted it to uh, melt nicely so that I can um, get it all down to the headspace and put my lids on. So, oh. all right. Maybe I can see the chat now. There it is. Hey, people, that purple tea bear is here. Welcome. Pass McQuaddy, welcome. I can't help it. I always, this channel will always talk about food, Hendo. Some form. Very food, very food related. <laughs> some form, some form of food. I branched out to gardening. So it's like pre-canning is gardening. Canning. And then we even do some eating. So watch out. <laughs> Yeah, you have someone in the chat from India. I have someone in the chat from India? I haven't seen them. If you scroll back up, it's that oh. uh um Dai oh, Mayu. Dai Mayu. Yes, yeah. yes, I watched they have some wonderful videos. If you like travel videos, they have some actually very nice videos that they put out. They have some resorts that they promote and they I met them in another chat. They're very nice. Great. Like relaxation videos, just sorry about that. Can you... It's sounds a house. Like... It's a home. Yeah, exactly. It's, it sounds like across the street when I'm over there with my daughter and her and her boy and the grandsons. It's just you know, one's always screaming. <laughs> Hi, T Hand One Forty One Homestead. Welcome. Yeah, Q's here. There's Q. I can't travel, so I can only watch your videos, Diana. You, I can't go travel there, so I just live vicariously by all your beautiful, beautiful scenery you post. So, I know what I did not do. I gotta run. To, I gotta run to. Hi, Cajun. You were singing nice last night. I had to leave to go to Fish's live, but there was some pretty good singing going on on karaoke night last night. So. Yeah, I, cr I crashed early. And I totally missed Fish's. Josh is here. Hey, hey Josh. Josh. So. <laughs> I am going to, I'm very sorry. I got to run downstairs and get my water bath canner. You always forget something, don't you? <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to. Uh... <laughs> well, I have some good news, Courtney. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you saw the video I did yesterday about put, uh, changing out the weather cap up on the, uh, for the wood stove. Yeah. The wind is, I mean, it's probably doing a good 40 mile an hour out there, if not higher. And so I started a, a, a fire, and usually when it's blowing like that, I get smoke back in the house. Nothing. It had it was creating such a good strong draw that it was just you know the fire started, but fire just took off. I mean it's absolutely fabulous. So I got that smoke problem handled with that um, special um, wind directional uh, weather cap on top. Oh well, that's good. So. Hey, Gardner Josh. Hello, Marshmallow. So I think I gotta go go back to that froze i gotta go back i gotta go back to that video and put the link to that from amazon in the description so people uh see that because that thing works absolutely fabulous that's good
Hello to you. Ready for phase two. Did you already made your karaoke video? Courtney, I think you could provide um, Cajun some actual competition. I don't think he knows how well you sing. There is now a t-shirt competition in oh, Shed Wars. I don't know if I want to sing on YouTube. <laughs> I don't you know. You just make a video. Oh God, yeah, just make it, no. Just make I, one video of yourself singing. You can, you can do this. I know you can, I've heard you sing. <sighs> one entry video, it's all it takes. You could beat the boys. I have to think about it. You gotta keep. <laughs> You gotta keep John from getting the t-shirt. He's trying to get all the t-shirts. Come on. He's trying to get all the t-shirts, huh? He is. He, what was the the other competition? Is to get more t-shirts than John? Oh lord. Have you heard that one? <laughs> Danny's even saying, "Come on!" Oh my god, I have to think about it. Let me think about it. And I know. Put it this way, Courtney, you can make the video. If you don't like it, you can delete it. Make another one to find one that's good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can do it. Shed Wars Karaoke Challenge. Okay. He was singing some pretty good Conway Twitty last night. Maybe you could do a, a duet Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I, I know you can do this. You got it in your beans. I have to think about it. <laughs> Remind me to uh, share with you who else I found in your tree. I, I've been finding a certain last name in your tree from the right, right general location. You, you may be, you may be cousins with Chris too. <laughs> Some oh, yeah? three of your 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 matches have Wyatt. In their surnames. From Wouldn't Virginia. that be weird? Because why is they from Virginia? Wouldn't yeah. that be weird, though? I I think weird things like that happen. Well, I, I just thought it was weird that one of my second cousins died at where you you're living. Yes, that is weird that they moved here, like right by my cabin, like weird. right down the road, less than five miles from my cabin is the cemetery where you're. Second cousin is Barry. We're neighbors. We are. Um, yeah, see, he says he'll do he, I got him to agree to the duet. Okay, well, I have to think about it. <laughs> Wine makes singing fun, but it doesn't stop my ears from listening to me. <laughs> like, and, I don't know. And though I actually am like ninth cousins, or we share a ninth great grandfather something like that that picture he posts of the house in new york the, that the dutch settler yeah. came here that is my ninth great grand my ninth great uncle or eighth great uncle so we would share a ninth great grandparent because he's cool. direct descendant from him so he said i haven't found it yet on ancestry it is not proven <laughs> all right how's it doing in there oh good okay i can pull these out I have to think about it. Oh, Jägermeister. Uh, if I got some Jäger, I might be doing it. I might do it. <laughs> oh, you guys are killing me. Do I have to show my face? <laughs> I don't think they said they have to show your face. They just said you had to sing. Okay. So. Yeah. And I got a special tool for today. I don't know if anybody's ever seen one of these, but it's actually, you put it on your hand like that and you can lift the jars easier, which is not going to be easy to do from here. The more you drink, the better it sounds. <laughs> Did you have a really good voice? Oh, he does. Yeah. He really does really do okay so you can see the cheese is all 
I don't want it to drip on the other one. All melted. I'm going to set these out over here on the stove. Let me get this out of here. Okay, Danny, I might have to get with you. Remember, folks, I'm your manager. <laughs> I negotiated this deal. You get a record contract. And the Gouda has a lot of oil on top. But that is normal and we want that so we're not gonna get too worked up over that because we're gonna stir that all back in later i drink a little 10 beer in the <laughs> oh my god if i drank all that i'd be sick i'll get with you though danny um i will i will try i <sighs> I did. I promised myself I wouldn't sing on YouTube because that's like so permanent. <laughs> well, I will not listen to myself, but they even got me to sing one song on my my karaoke live. If I can sing with no voice and embarrass myself, you can sing with a great voice and do well. All right. Well, then I guess I'm going to have to. I, I have no idea what the song is either. I've never heard it. So I don't I think you guys get to pick your own song. Oh, do we? Yeah, you can pick your own song. Well, I'll sing with you, Danny. I'll do it. God, I just don't want to show my face. <laughs> I don't want to show my face. Oh my God. Mm. Well, you know, just just find a picture of uh, uh, uh what do you, what's your team mascot? Uh. A squid, a man of war. Just get a picture of a man of war and put that up there, and then it counts, right? Okay. I'm going to be in so cute. Do not tell on me. I'm going to be in so much trouble. I'm going to be losing pounds here if I'm not careful. Okay, okay the likes are slowly climbing, folks. We're now at uh, 19 likes of 25 watching. That means we got six people that haven't hit that button yet. Now I feel like I'm on a telephone. If you haven't hit that button. <laughs> What's the matter? What am I not doing right? <laughs> Do it for Julia Child in her memory. Hit the like. <laughs> this is for Julia Child. Hit that like button. Uh, hey, Moon over Miami. Hey, Gear. And who is it? Andy, Eddie? Eddie just Eddie. I can't speak here. Andy just came in. Hello, Tim Posey. Hi, need Tim. Thanks for reading it out. I can't see the chat and do this. This one I'm a little worried about. It's got some quite a bit of oil in this one, so hopefully this one will seal. It is a little questionable having it up that high. I shouldn't have added anything more. To that. Oh, no, not out here, sweetie. Thank you. No. We now, what are, you, what are you wiping the rims with? Just vinegar or? I'm actually just doing it with a dry paper towel because it's so melty. Okay. So. Nasty, don't play the drums. Save them for when I'm on a live with Bob. He did. His family can really play. I saw that video today. Oh. All right.
everybody's muted but me. Well, I didn't want it that that her uh that uh ear piercing sneeze to go over YouTube. <laughs> I was like, everybody was muted at the same time. I was like, <gasps> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hello, uh -huh. Bitra. Yeah, there was stuff going on in the background. I didn't think you guys wanted to hear. <laughs> And one more time, you can see this is all melted down to the bottom really good. But there is another little bubble or so right there. There's a couple down here. Oh, yep, there's a big bubble down there. So I'm just kind of making sure that I get all of it away from the edges and down in the center. This one, make sure I really wipe out because it's really out to the edges. Not a lot of head space with this one. And there's the cream cheese one again. I just thought of something. I thought of something before the cream cheese. If you had a cookie cutter that was just slightly smaller than the opening, mm -hmm. and cut and do that, and then you know that'd get your bottom all packed down. You know, because basically it'd be almost the same size, and you just you know use a little spoon to push would, it down the rest of the way. That would be really good. That would be really good. I'm gonna fill up the uh, water here. And I'm really lucky my tap water comes out super hot, so I don't have to uh, worry about shocking the jars. I'm putting almost boiling water right on them. And again, you always want to cover your jars in the water bath by at least a full inch of water. And I had to double stack, so I need quite a bit of water in here. So, I'm going to mute for a minute while I... That's interesting. So they'll work on rules for the for the singing, so it doesn't have to be karaoke. You can if you just you have your you know, do your own singing type or whatever, you know. Guitar, piano, whatever. Well, good morning, my table of three. Hello. We are canning cheese. There was three different kinds, cheddar, gouda, and cream cheese. One more. I switch, I had one of those uh, can uh, water bath canners and it got rusty. So I switched it out. I got a stainless steel one now. I think it doesn't help that I have hard water too. Yeah. The stainless steel ones are really nice. Mm -hmm. They really are. Yeah, I got it off of Facebook. 
marketplace for like 30 bucks. My Whoa. husband just went and picked it up. Wow. That was a score and a half. <clears throat> Yeah, I have my mom's old, uh, huge uh, water bath canner that she would, did the uh, half gallon jars in. So, yeah, we ever get the uh, pear trees and uh, ap apricot and peach trees going here. Maybe doing a lot of uh, canning in about five years. It takes that long for the trees to produce. You, you're muted. Yeah. All right. The watch pot never boils. So I'm going to come back over here and sit down and kind of watch the ones in the oven and see how these are doing here. Get the lid on. There. Take care, well, Tim. Bye, Tim. Yes, the amber jars let in less light. They're very good if you're making your own vanilla, you're making your own tinctures. I use them for a lot of things that aren't necessarily for canning. Hey, Wicked chickens. What's up, girl? Hey. An Easter egg hunt, and it's hailing. You, you sound like you live where I am, even though I know you don't. Well, it's snowing here, too, so she only lives like a couple hours from me. <laughs> Andy, I did not see your spam recipe suggestion. I... We'll look for it. Tell me where you put it and I will look for it. I do have a recipe for spam. I can't remember if I put it in the cookbook, the original volume, but if it isn't in the original one, it'll probably be in volume two, which should be out as soon as I find someone who can put it in the right format for Amazon. Ebooks. I'm going to do an ebook this time. Hi, Twin Brooks. Thanks for coming in. Beatra, hi. Trying to go back up here and see who. Uh... What uh, has been going on that I missed? I can't remember if, if I said hi to my table of three or not, but welcome. Moon over Miami. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. We got 22 people in here watching. That's amazing. Thank you, everybody. I have some good news. Can I tell you my good news? Now that I'm monetized, there's a little join button down there. If you join, there's three tiers. I'm not really doing much with the middle one right now, but the first one will be, you'll get a sticker and you'll get to see all of my membership videos, which will be all my Rebel Canning recipe ones. Regular recipes will be out to the public the Rebel Canning Recipes, you'll have to pay the 99 cents for that month to see those if you want to do that. And then I did a third tier. If you want one hour of personalized instruction over a meeting like this, just one-on-one, -on -one, just me and you, not a video for the public, join tier three and I will set up an appointment and I will do a live with you canning whatever you want to can together. And I will talk you right through your canning of whatever you're choosing to can. And that's tier three, one hour a month. So if you feel like you need personalized one-on-one -on -one attention, join tier three. I think it's $14.99. <laughs> Where else will you get $14.99 worth of inst instruction for, for uh, canning? A lot of people go to, they don't have their someone they didn't have their grandma like Gil and I did or my parents like I did and my aunt I always canned with my aunts too so I had a lot of people in my family teaching me to can so yeah unfortunately all my all my education in canning happened when I was a uh, preteen and a teenager and after that you lost a little interest right fast huh a after that uh, family lost interest. <laughs> Uh, things going on, people, you know, oh. my grandmother getting older, uh, stopped canning, and my mom, you know, 
with us uh, having uh, uh, grandkids around got, you know. Yeah. It's, it's hard to do with little ones underfoot. Yeah. It's, it's hard. You don't want, you don't want them to get hurt. And, you know, when they're too little, they don't know to stay out from underneath when you're moving stuff back and forth. Yeah. I'm going to check on this. It is not boiling yet. I'm going to see if I can get the other jars done and in there. Maybe I can do this all in one because I got enough to fit in there. I may be able to get them all in together here. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Definitely can get them in there now. Move you around so you can see when I'm kind of it's in the way, but it's, it's the same as what I was doing before. I'm just gonna wipe the rims and put them in in here. And I'm just using a clean paper towel because I don't want to introduce anything in. Um, vinegar and milk makes cheese, but I don't necessarily want to uh, do that with these. So. Again, wiping them off, finger tight, and going ahead and just adding them right into that boiling water bath. It hasn't came up to boil yet, so. Hey, Bruce, you might want to send, go ahead and just email that information to her. Yeah, that's, it's my, my uh, channel name at gmail.com if you're talking about me. Yes, he was talking about uh, a program for formatting uh, you know, a book and stuff for Amazon, it looks like, or Final Draft. Oh, yes. I need that. I have a book on how to do it. My publisher that I work with that published my last book has had back surgery and she is out of commission for a while. So I'm on my own this time. Let's see if I can uh, do this here. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Hot to the cabal. Sorry. That one is a new one. Welcome. Thank you for uh, coming in. Sorry. Uh, I would say hi, but I, I didn't know how to pronounce your name. So I see you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's why I just typed uh, uh, hey there in the uh, <laughs> side chat. So they, they have that been canning since for 50, for 50 years, 55 years. Nice. Welcome. Yes, canning is my happy place. So I get that. I have the same kind of feeling about it. I just, this is what I do to relax. Yeah, Bruce, so I, I went ahead and sent it to her. Yes. Thank you, Gil. And that way I have I ha I'll have it saved in my sent folder for when I'm ready to uh, post some of my novels on uh, Amazon. Nice. Thanks, Twin Press. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Just two yes. more to go, guys. <laughs> oh, it's Hebrew for cat and dog. Cool. Oh. You and Yosi would get along very well then. I hope he feels that better soon. I'm missing Yosi. Yeah, me too. Yeah. He's usually always messaging me and stuff, and I just. Every day, and I haven't been messaging him like I should while he's been off sick. I just kind of like let him go for a little bit because I don't want to like bombard him. Yeah. When you're sick like that, you don't feel like talking. Yeah. Maybe I'll send him a goofy face on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to mute for just a minute. I got some background going on. Yeah. Uh, so when was the last time you heard from Yozy? A couple of days ago, maybe. Okay. Yeah, it hasn't. It's not been forever. Yeah. I just... Let's check. Let me check something here real quick. I haven't. Don't think I've seen anything from him from Facebook for a little bit. He uh, messages me privately, but yeah. I don't know if he's been in the chats. Yeah. Oh, my nephew just posted something funny on uh, Facebook. It says it has a picture of a fire extinguisher. It says. I own a gun for the same reason I own a fire extinguisher in case of emergency. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's see. Anything here from him? I... Okay, I don't see he's not he's not on Facebook right now, so I have to go in there. Oh uh, bye, Wicked Chickens. All right, so now that I've got all 20 jars of half pints in here and covered with one inch of water, I've cranked the heat right up. Oops, I actually turned it off. Now I've cranked the heat back all the way up. Went a little past high. Hi, twin um, bro. Once it comes up to boiling again, I will start the timer for 20 minutes, but that's it as far as... Uh, Everything you need to know to can cheese yourself at home. I'm sure you can all time. So does anybody have any questions? So the consistency after it's all done, it's, it's a, it's a spread. Yeah. Well, and, but the, the uh, hard cheeses will be back to hard. Oh, they will be back to hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. so they so they'll absorb that oil back into they it. They will. They will as they sit. The longer they sit, the more they'll suck the oil back into it. Um, you don't want to use a real sharp cheese because it will not have a spreadable or a cuttable consistency. It'll be crumbly. But if you're opening it up and throwing it in the casserole, you don't care if it's crumbly or not. Yeah, exactly. You care if you have some cheese um, it, that off the shelf. It'll, it'd almost be better if it's all crumbling you're putting it into a casserole. Exactly. So, you know, I I did one that was a little sharper and then one that was very mild. The Gouda, which is a mild cheese, and the cream cheese. Mm. So I, I did three just to have a variety on my shelf. Because if I'm doing it, I might as well have a good variety up there. What does the cream cheese taste like canned? Cream cheese. Does it taste any different? No, it's spreadable. You just bring it out and it's, you know, at room temperature, it's pretty spreadable. Yes, the jars really do have to be covered with an inch of water if you're using a water bath canner. If you have a steam canner, which is really nice, it's actually like, looks like the opposite. It's got a small pan with only about four inches in there. You put your jars on it and you put your lid over and you steam them. That takes a lot less water. So um, countries that are really worried about, have to worry about their water and water use would want to use a steam canner. If you have a pressure canner, you can actually use that as a steam canner and use less water. And at that point, you don't have to have them um, covered by one inch. But if you're using a, a regular water bath, yes, one inch. Yes, I water bath the cheese. Teresa C. Little Sister Spitfire. 20-minute water bath. 
it just went in. So I showed you how I melted it. If you missed the first part of the video, you might want to go back. I showed the procedure for how to get it in the jars as um, hygienically as possible, I guess is the word mm -hmm. I'm looking for. And then how to get all the air bubbles out and now they're water back in. Mm. Right there. I had two cameras at the beginning, but my son had to take a security blankie back with him to the bedroom. Yes, I do. I do, Angie. I got a question about Gay. Okay. Um, can you use any butter for that? You can use salted butter. You don't want to use salted butter okay. because it concentrates the salt. So when you have it in the ghee, it's like twice as salty. That's what I thought. I'm going to have to go to a store and get unsalted butter then. Yeah, unsalted butter is best. I bought salted because I'm going to be making a chicken. So I'm like, mm. yeah. Yummy, yummy. I have a whole chicken I have to get out of the freezer. I'm totally going to try and put it in my Instapot and nice. cook it like that way. Ooh, that does sound good. Yeah. I'm hungry. I haven't had a lot to eat today. I probably. I opened already. up one of my, I have like two more things of strawberry jam mm -hmm. from like over the summer or a couple years ago, actually. So I opened that up and like I'm ate that. We ate some of that for breakfast, but I have one more thing of strawberry jam. I can't wait till strawberry season comes back. I have five packages of strawberries I need to use up out of the freezer. So, since you keep talking about strawberry jam and you don't have much left, we should do that on our Friday show next okay. week. Okay. Sounds we'll good. Make, I'll try to do the setup again if I if I can and okay. have it all ready and started and then we can can it live for people while we talk. That sounds good. Yeah, it's a whole chicken. Yeah, I don't have a barbecue rotisserie or a smoker. I just have an Instapot, but... I just want like butter and rosemary and thyme, which I have a ton of thyme right now out there in the garden. It's just like all over the place, which my turkey was eating the other day. Hey, it's good for her. She's she's getting her herbal medicine with that thyme. Yeah. She'll make make better eggs. Yes, I do recan all sorts of foods. Um, lemon juice is a 15 minute water bath. Uh, you could even, instead of doing this kind of cheese, you know, the big cheese spread, the nacho cheese you get in the number 10 cans, you can recan re that using this exact method too. I'm going to do a video on that soon. I've just, they just now got the number 10 cans back in. So. Yeah, yesterday I went to um, Walmart in, in my shopping spree around Idaho Falls, and neither Walmart had any jars other than the i guess the the little little um jars you know about that big like the size of a uh of of the uh yeah that size that they only had, they yeah, only had, had two cases of those and that was it no. and all the rest of the shelves were empty there and it's like but these are personal size apple sauces for lunches and this would also be a personal size nacho cheese to can too. So you should have grabbed them and then you could do nacho cheese. The boys come over, pop one open, cheese and chips. Yeah, I got a question. Unfortunately, my, kid, uh, my grandsons you know, aren't much into that type of cheese. They come over and it's like cheese stick. They want the cheese sticks out of it and they yeah. walk around the house just eating the cheese. I saw a Mrs. Wages queso. Mm hmm. Could you like make your own queso and put the salsa in it and can that? No. Yes. I have to look at the water. I can't, I'm trying to remember if it's 20 minutes or 25 minutes for salsa water bath. You'd have to do it longer. The only thing is you'd have to, you have to do it because of the onions in it. You would have to do it a little bit longer water bath. Okay. But it'd be worth trying. Yeah. No. You, can, you can do Velveeta the same way I'm doing this, which Velveeta is not a cheese, just so we're clear. It's, what? 
<laughs> Imitation and cheese. And, yeah. A, a cheese-like product can be used exactly the method we are using here, here today. And if, if you would like to, you know, make a cheese-like product, all you need is unflavored gelatin, food coloring, and milk, too. It's actually pretty easy to make Velveeta type product. Yeah. What's Goobnet cheese? I don't no. know. That's a new one on me. I pretty much like all cheeses. I just don't like Gouda and I don't like blue cheese. I cannot eat cheese. I don't cheese. like brie. Don't give me brie. I like brie. I just can't eat cheese that tastes like stinky smelly feet so i don't want provolone i yeah Limburger. no Limburger. no Limburger. i like provolone and there's a cheese here in ohio it's called lorraine swiss it's very stinky but it's very good swiss is kind of like out there for me i like swiss with other things i actually had a block of swiss i set out two blocks of swiss one i we were thawing because it was out of the freezer for the pizzas last night. And the other one was supposed to go in with some cream cheese and make a Swiss cheese spread. And they ate the whole, they ate two pounds of, of Swiss on the pizzas. Well, we made wow. eight pizzas last night. So we had company over, so. Yes, the government cheese that's from, from our youth was the best cheese, even though there was very little cheese in that government cheese. It was made from milk. Does that count? Now, question. When you're canning that cheese, you're using small jars. Can you use, like, jelly jars? Half pints. These are jelly jars. They're half pint jelly jars. Oh, okay. I meant, like, the bigger yeah. ones. You can use the tall ones. It's just harder to pack it down in. I like, oh, the, okay. I like the wide mouth. And that happened to be what we had at our store when I went was all wide mouth. Um, there's one in cream cheese in here that's in the the small mouth, regular lip mouth jar. Yeah. But yeah, I just that is this is just more half pint size. Please don't message me and ask me how to do it in quarts because we're not doing that. <laughs> it's half pints or nothing. <laughs> I will go to quarter pints, but I will not go to pints. I will not go to any other size. So the half gallon's out. The half gallon is out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not doing the math. I'm not doing the experiment, and I'm not eating it to test it for you. We'll just stick with half pints. Call it good. I do like blue cheese. I love blue cheese. Courtney, they want to know if you like blue cheese. No. You got a new member. Oh, Diggs. Diggs, you are now number one. Ooh, member you number one. Whoa. You are number one, Diggs. You get. Whoa. Special status there. You're you're number one. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I really didn't believe when I put it up there anybody would do that. <laughs> you know how you like. Thank you. That's amazing. All right, now now I need to know what you want to do. Want, want to see as for a video. <laughs> you get to request since you're number one. You get to make a request. Although we did have a request for spam. That's going on the members only. I'll be right back, guys. All right. Okay. Hey, I think I hear boiling. I do, I do, I do. I'm starting the timer. That's boiling pretty good, actually. All right. The timer is set. 20 minutes and we can take it out of here. Shoot. I thought I'd done it. I didn't do it. All right. I'll give you some time. Oh, Gil. Thank you. Yeah, I thought I had done it before. He was the first one. I thought, oh, crap. It didn't go through before. Oh. Well, thank you. You're still number one to, to Gil. You're special. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, I got to get mine set up. And I just got to do my, my welcome video and everything else and get it set up. I haven't not, done my, my welcome video yet. I want to get that done. Yeah, I, I'm basically just going to do, you know, I'm going to start with just one, one tier. Mm -hmm. And if I do a second tier, it's only going to be because, because I get my wife to do videos. Mm -hmm. And hers will only be available on 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 for tier two members. Shalom, thank you for coming in. I hope you come back and visit some more. Thank you. Why oh, that timer's going slow? It's still at twenty minutes. I I'm not I'm not touching that one, Bruce. Not going there. What Bruce say? What 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 what? Oh, he had to he had to pick on Courtney. He made a number two joke. Uh. Well, can can you or Diggs test out the emojis? Because you you get yeah you get fancy emojis. I spent time making i hope they're actually work because i've never made i've never made a custom emoji before hi tanya thank you for coming in we're right here at the end yeah i got it that's the thing i gotta figure out how to how to make emojis that i want to use okay it's saying it so it must be showing yeah, it i just can't yeah, see it, it. It's, it's showing it on the on the uh, other one so though you got the uh the, the pot of coffee, a gold star, a canning jar, and okay, it's an apron. Okay, you are awesome. Thank you. I had to get my oh, you're, you're <laughs> oh, Bruce made a number two joke about you being of my number two can. member. <laughs> I don't want you to miss it, so be sure to scroll back. And <laughs> oh, yes, of course, I have a coffee pot emoji. Of course. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. You guys have made my day. I need to support you. My teenager will be so disappointed, though. Why? Oh, because my 18-year-old, well, have you got have you got a check from YouTube? Then it's not really a job, Mom. Oh, that's mean. I told him that he had to be good and not come out here while i was doing my live because he's really a hacking and coughing and i don't want him to breathe on my cheese there's now sick. everybody says a number two i'm telling you what y'all that's not what was going on i had to get my credit card because i wanted to be a member okay all right courtney's number three i wanted to be number two but gil beat me too I thought, see, I thought I, I thought I was I thought I try, thought I put it in er, before. I thought I was number one, but it didn't take when she you know said it earlier. I guess it, it wanted my security code off the back of the card. I just you know, went right on by that. It didn't take. I don't have my card hooked up to this. It's only and, hooked up with my phone. So yeah. I had to exactly, exactly. T and one forty one. This has been a lot of work from November until March, I did a video every day. So that was really a big push to uh, get to where I am today to have, be able to have members and all that. That was, I put a lot of work into it. Well, I did say they were both number one. <laughs> <laughs> they tied, oh, they all that tied. So that this makes party like number two. Piece. Ooh, I don't drink coffee. That oh, an apron. Ooh, there's a can or thing. Mm -hmm. I can't see them on Streamyard though. I asked them if they. Oh, there they are. I asked to test yeah. them out. I that was hard. It took me a whole day to make those and to figure out if they were. And then you don't even get to see them yourself. Oh, hey, everybody, go over and see if you can help Tehan141 Homestead. They are 104 subs from their 500 and getting their community tab. 
Oh, Let's yeah. see if we can't help them get their community tab. I already subbed to them. Okay. I think I already am too. I will make sure I am after this. Because I can't can't go back and forth. And we have 15 more minutes on the timer. I am going to grab a towel and set it out to set my... Never set your jars right on your counter. There's a This is a ceramic countertop here at Becca's Tile. You never want to shock your jars. You want to make sure that you put them out on a towel or... Oh, gear. Thank you so much. You guys are all awesome. You are so awesome. But um, I forgot what I was saying. You guys have me so flabbergasted. Um, always put them down on a towel or something. Don't put them on the bare counter. You don't want thermal shock. You don't want to break your jars. And this cheese is really thick. It's going to take a long time to cool down. So, yeah. Come on, you guys. It's only 99 cents a month. Check her out. We get a lot more than 99 cents of education there. And all of her lives and everything. Yeah, and I'm going to do a lot of members only stuff too. So I'll make sure that I keep doing kind of the same pace where there'll be videos. A lot of the gardening stuff is going to be. Thank you, Thank you so T. Han. Thank you. I'm, I'm, if you can see, I'm poking Bruce. <laughs> I threw all the coffee pots at him. He's throwing the coffee pots at Bruce. Bruce drinks coffee like I drink coffee. Almost. I don't know if anybody drinks coffee as much as I. Yeah, it's hard, Firefly Follies, when you're so close to to, uh, to getting your community tab. And there's so much you can do. You can share out. Ah, Cajun, thank you. You are awesome. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Yeah, it's so hard when you're so close to your community tab. And when you want to get your community tab, it really opens up the world for you because then you can share out when you're doing stuff. Mm -hmm. then you it's can get really people important to, come. to do that. Yeah, it really is. Well, it's only 99 cents a month. I made it as low as possible that I could. I've, lo I've lost count, Diggs. I think it is. I got to turn my heat down. I'm boiling over. There we go. That's okay, Nate. I understand. If you can't, I understand. Thank you, Firefly Follies. I like your channel, too. I enjoy watching it. I, you have a lot of videos. You're, you're a little quicker making them than I am on some of these things. I, I like to kind of see. I don't watch a lot of canning channels, but you're one of the few that I will watch. I, um, Backwoods Law, I used to have an anesthesiologist that was really um, freewheeling with the caffeine. And when I went in for uh, major surgery, he's like, what can I do for you? And I said, could you please just slip a little caffeine in that IV? And he did. So, so I have actually mainlined caffeine. They don't have it available as much as they used to though it kind of went out of fashion but it used to be when you had migraines they would give it to you but we got 11 more minutes here on the canner 11 more to go and then we can take the cheese out so i appreciate everybody sticking with me it's ran over a little bit but uh hopefully it'll be worth it you'll get to see a bunch of melted cheese come out of the canner. Uh, there's a join button, Fireflies Folly. I just got my memberships. So there should be a join button. It's 99 cents a month for the, the first tier. Second tier is kind of like, I'm probably going to do most everything on the first and third. Um, the third tier, I will actually do a one on one tutorial with you of your choice privately. So one hour a month, if you, uh, for $14.99, that's not too bad for a, a thing. Oh, Tanya, you're doing pumpkin butter. I love pumpkin butter. It is so good. Oh, here's Becca. She has things to show us. She left me. She didn't stay for the live. 
Can you believe it? <gasps> the baby's gonna go construction work. He's oh okay. Diggs, we're gonna, I'm gonna put when I put this on the baby, I'm gonna think of you just because he's got the big digger there putting it in the little little dirt hauler. And there's a oh, the oh that is so cool. More oh, wars, God. dinosaurs, baby roar. Cheesy first super chat. You are first. I have not got a super chat here. Thank you. Oh, that is awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Deserve so much. it. Um, oh, with that. Uh, go. Oh, so we had ten more minutes on the timer. Just keeping you posted here, and then we'll get the cheese out. Yes, it was a Becca sighting. No, oh. but you could put this cheese over cooked macaroni and have macaroni and cheese really fast. Okay, I'm taking this. No, no, don't no, take the can. Of oh, boys. I'm glad they're feeling better. I am so glad they're feeling better. That's okay, Diggs. You don't have to. I thank you so much for the membership. I just really appreciate it. This is so much fun. So we got nine more minutes. Yes, thank you, Tanya. Thumbs up. I don't know how many. We have fourteen viewing right now, and I don't know how. Many. Ginger Ninja. Thank you for the super sticker. That is so awesome. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. You're gonna make you guys are gonna make my teenage son very unhappy. <laughs> He's gonna have to recognize this as mom's job. <laughs> uh, actually, it's just my passion. I really enjoyed Courtney. Thank you. Oh, uh, tanning is my passion. I really enjoy it, and I've really enjoyed being able to share it with everybody. I really, really, really appreciate it. No. We got eight more minutes. Thank you, Becca. Oh. Come here. I know you want to. Come over here. Right now is a good time. Stick it. There you are. There's some of my background noise. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, yeah, Nana had cheese out. She got a piece of cheese. Oh, she's asking for. I, ha I have a question for you, and I, I'm not. I am live here. But what happened to the Swiss cheese, Becca? I used it on pizza. What happened to the two cups you're going to save me out for today? I forgot. <laughs> I forgive you. Oh, thank you, Tanya. I'm subscribed to Gil too. Are you subscribed to Wide Family Farm? Because Courtney, right here beside me, and I do a live every friday uh the blue ribbon canning show we can together kind of like sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes we just talk sometimes we talk about whatever it, it's a little you know fun and enjoyable and i hope that other people enjoy it as much as i do because i love spending time with you courtney i love it and yeah. so if you are not on wide family farm go ahead and then gil has a second channel too if gil can you you're really good at that you're a wonderful secretary thank you gil <laughs> if you could post courtney's channel and right. you both of yours okay. uh tanya went and subscribed to yours but she didn't hit, see because courtney abbreviates hers okay so, so uh, let me get up here wide family Lock farm boom boom uh oh you dropped one we i, I used 20 half pints so I'm going to have to buy some more jars. And so... That one's slightly obvious because it says Wide Family Farm in it. And let me pull up my other one here. I used it for the cheese. You had to move. And my other channel here is right there gray man prepping
Okay. And... Oh, interesting. Thank you. You got. I don't know if you remember, uh, remember when Chris uh, subscribe. Chris White subscribed to my channel to make it six 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 for my yes. gray man prepping. Yes. Um, about an hour later, YouTube took two away. Of, of course. <laughs> I've been course. sitting at six six five for a week, <laughs> and he took. And it, as soon as he put it subscribed, an hour later they took two away, and now they've got it down to six six two. So I, YouTube didn't like that. <laughs> no, they did not like it. If, if there's any moderators in the chat, please post your channels too. We have five more minutes before this comes out. Oh. Let me find my link. I'll put it in there. I put I put yours in there, Courtney. Oh, you did already? Okay. Yeah, yours you. yours was the first one. Then I put Gray Man in there. Okay, cool. Sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah. And uh. Oh, okay. Thank you for going over. Thank you for subbing me. I appreciate you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Wow. Four, four more minutes on the canner. Four more. It is. Hmm. We need to make reservations again for this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Gil, you can just give him Bruce the coffee pot and tease him some more. <laughs> He'll be right back. He went to get coffee. <laughs> oh, if, and if you could post Lewis's, he's asking Gil too. All right. Uh, no. give, me, give me a second, Lewis. I've got to harass Bruce here. I say no, Lewis. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Ain't happening. Uh oh. What'd you do to back up? <laughs> That's true, T Han. We have to we have to hit the bell or like you have and you have to leave a comment um on people um, on a video or something in order to stick as a subscriber. Yeah. Otherwise they'll think you're spam. Yeah. Nate, just start making videos. It doesn't make matter what you're making a video of. My advice is to just start mm -hmm. making videos, do things you love. And the more you do something you love, the more people will flock to it. You know? <laughs> I don't know. You guys all keep the snow out of Michigan. We, we are just getting rain and starting to warm up. I don't want that snow here either. Mm -mm. Don't send it back our way. I saw the flurry out there earlier. I was like, I know it's not going to stick though because tomorrow it's supposed to be like 60. <gasps> Is tomorrow a day here too? I hope so. I it's supposed to be 60, but it's also supposed to be snowing. Well, it's raining and 36 degrees right now here. Oh, you're in Cleveland for real? Oh. I'm near that area. Hey, there we go. There's Lewis in there. Yeah, right now it's uh, let's see, refresh this. So, uh, it says we're 37 here right now. That's because the, we got such a, a massive wind chill because the winds are blowing at about uh, uh, 33 miles an hour right now, according to the, the chart here. So, yeah. But the, hey, the, the, the gusts are much higher here. Thank you, Pastor McQuaddy. Oh, she you found her so purse. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, she was getting an error message or something. Too, something worse. So, you have the good news or the bad news? You're live. Oh, no, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. I, don't care if I'm live or not. I want the good news. Hey, 53, most of sunny. Ooh, hey, what's the bad news for the weather? percent chance of precipitation during the oh. night. All right. It's really not that bad. No, that's not that bad. I can take rain at night and sunny during the day. Mm -hmm. All day long. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Timer went off. Yay. You live in my county, Firefly Police. 
just an FYI. So, see, I did do one of the other kinds of jars, Courtney. Oh, okay. Yeah, for something a little bit bigger, like if you're doing something, I don't know. I was just thinking about like all the jars that you're going to end up using. Yeah. Oh, for uh, storing canning jars once they're done and stuff, if you go to uh, Sam's Club or Costco, and even though you don't need it, grab some of those. They have the flat boxes that are about anywhere from uh, uh, three inches to six inches high. Grab those. Those are great for on the shelf for keeping the jars contained. Oh, okay. I keep, save keep, all keep of my getting... boxes I buy them in yeah. and try to keep those as nice as I can. Yeah. But like, uh, you know, like we had people give us a whole bunch of canning jars, no boxes. So yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes you know, I've had a few. I've had a few floods and yeah. leaks and damages too. I don't know if you can hear that, but the wind just started howling outside here, and the house started shaking a little bit. So we got a good, a uh, high gust of uh, wind just now. Yeah, a little nor'easter coming in. Uh, actually, it's got it's coming from the southwest. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got a uh, wind advisory with uh, dust warnings. Oh, there's the first pop. They're starting to seal. And then we I get isolate. One that leaked over. It's gonna have to, you know. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, that hurt. Ow. Uh. I hate doing oh, wide mouth in here. They don't want to. I don't want to come away when I push them all the way out to the edges. Can't grab them with my. Hey, Diggs, uh, Mother Nature is suffering not only from bipolar, but a little psychopath on there, too. And hot flashes. Because it's, you know, it's, it's changing, you know. Like right now, we got, you know, dust clouds blowing. And later this afternoon, we're supposed to have snow. <laughs> Uh. Well, they, what they say about Michigan weather, there's the Gouda. What they say about Michigan weather is if you don't like it, wait five minutes. It'll change. Yeah. Oh, I love that pop. I don't know if you can hear it. I heard it. There's three more to go here. And the ones that had uh, really bad weathers, uh, Wendy there at Hardneck Farms down in Oklahoma with the uh, oh yeah uh, the fire warnings and everything. I mean, just uh, so dry and the wind blowing, and some of the counties not putting up no burn bans, and you know yeah people just being stupid, you know, down there. That was happening. So far, it hasn't been, it has not that bad. The winter weather hasn't been that bad. I'm just tired of it. And it's something to expect in the beginning of spring. It's not like it's yeah. Yeah. horrible. I just want it, I'm impatient. I want it to go away. <laughs> yeah. You want to get out in the garden more. Pretty much. Yeah, we're talking about, everyone's talking about the five-minute weather change. In Northern California, the San Francisco Bay Area, the weather doesn't change. You want it, You want a different weather? You drive to the next town over, and it, yeah, and it changes so drastically. When I was working on the, on the, uh, by the um, uh, Oakland San Francisco Bay Bridge, uh, the new terminal area and stuff down there after the uh, Loma Prieta earthquake, it was... I mean, we were just freezing out there. The other job site, which was five miles away in Emeryville, you go over there and it's like 110. 
And it's just, you know, and that's the way it was all day long. We were freezing at the one site, sweating to death at the other site, and they were almost five miles away from each other. Was that, was that like 25 or, well, more than 30-some years ago where that bridge collapsed? Um, okay, uh, let me think back. Okay, I was married, so it was less than 33 years. Um, heck, let me see here. Loma Prieta. Loma Prieta earthquake. And that was, uh, oh, that was right after I got married. That was 89. Yeah. My ex-husband's aunt or uncle that live in California were, had just crossed that bridge right before it collapsed. They were not on it. They were not, but they would have been if they'd have been five minutes slower to their destination. Yeah. 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 That's and why I remember it. it. What's okay. interesting, that section that collapsed was designed to do that to relieve all the stress so the rest of the bridge stayed up. If it had been built solid and rigid, the whole bridge would have come down. Because I was, I was uh, uh, working with the, uh, they had, at the time, they had 15 engineers assigned to the bridge, you know, to make for safety and stuff, engineers. And they say, yeah, those, mm -hmm. uh, well, they had the plates on the, on the street, and it, so go like this. Well, it just went a little bit farther and dropped loose. If it had been rigid, it would have pulled the bridge apart and it would have collapsed. Because at the base of, of several, the yeah, at the base of the towers uh, up by, near that section, it had shifted so much. They had, um, I'm trying to remember, I think it was 18 um three inch bolts holding the, the the base into the concrete structure it sheared all those and it shifted over six inches hmm. and they, they had to redrill wow. and tap and put new bolts down in but um yeah if, if that thing hadn't didn't have didn't have that thing the whole bridge would have gone down sorry guys i'm cold i was uh, huddled up in the blanket and i had my little rice pack last night trying to stay warm during fish's life oh uh, wendy nice um, mark yeah mark twain said about uh san francisco S summertime in san francisco was the coldest winter he ever spent <laughs> the you, the, the fog comes in in the summertime and it is colder when that fog comes in than it is in the in december in uh, San Francisco. Really? Something about the the, the summertime, the, the the atmospheric changes, and when that cold air comes in with that fog, man, it just chills you to the bone in the summertime. Jump up. You say hi to everybody. Come on, girl. Her puppy's camera shot today. Yeah. It's, it's like my oh. uh, grandsons. No, I want you to pick me up. I don't want to climb up on you. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Uh, the name's in the way. Okay. Yeah. It's smelly early. <laughs> you just coming in to hang out? She has full rule of the house, so yeah. she's happy. What you need, girl? You just need her to lay down on your feet, Courtney, then you'll be all set. Yeah, really. So, um, Tammy, have you canned yeah. steaks? Yes. Yes. I actually did venison tenderloin, tenderloin recently, which is something my, my father would have never approved of. You you fried and ate the t ate the tenderloin right away. You did not you did not can it. But yeah, I've I've done whole steaks. I've done T-bones and uh -huh. quartz with the bone. If I could get the bone to fit through the wide mouth, yeah. And then you just so take you, them out and fry them. So uh, you you can them raw or can or do you cook cook them first? Raw pack, always raw pack. Raw pack. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But I do put liquid in with them because I like to yeah. keep the moisture in the meat. And I'm really, I, I'm going to make mashed potatoes and gravy. Let's be honest. I'm Scottish. Mashed potatoes and gravy go with every meal. So yeah. I really want the broth to make gravy. I want to keep the meat moist. So, ooh, fish broth. Um, 
Boy, I'm really, I, I'm really a, a lemon pepper kind of gal, and I do like some Old Bay. So I love that Old would be, Bay. Be, I love Old Bay. I love Old Bay. So yes. and the Old other Bay thing, oh, shrimp. shrimp. Oh, she can't eat shrimp. Sorry, Tammy. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna have some crawfish. I'm gonna go forage some crawfish. Weigh them. I am really into this, Mrs. Dash's right now. The garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash, and Morton's Nature Seasoning is also really good. So those I don't are think two. I've ever heard of that. Those are two I've been I've been putting on a lot of stuff. I would put those on fish. We don't have a lot of fish here. Um, I think, but being by the Great Lakes, I would have more fish. I have sent my nephew out to get me some fish. Um. They usually throw them back. They don't save them. I'm like, you better save them. So the oh, you don't have to poop. Maybe I will yet. get some more fish. I'm also supposed to go, right. go canning or go fishing with them. And if, if I do catch some myself, then I can count them for shed wars. Oh, you're so. Say hi. Hey, Fred. Can you say hi? Hey. Hey, Fred. You see, this is Tammy. Hey, Fred. Hello. He wants down. He has to go potty. Come on. Go potty. Watch the desk. Go. Oh. So, so Tammy, one other question here. Uh, you you said, you know, like if I said can uh, cooked hamburger to put water in it, you know, and everything. Can you just go ahead and make a gravy and can it with um, gravy? You could. You could. Just put a little beef bouillon in there or make um, <coughs> gravy with beef broth and put in there. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah, because my boy my wife makes a dish. I just, she, I just she like the texture better. Yeah. My wife makes a dish she calls beefy noodles, basically grounds up the hamburger to makes a gravy with it and serves mm -hmm. that over uh white egg noodles. And I figured if I, yeah. if and that it, might be something to, to make it can it already, so all the boys need to do is pop, pull one of those out, yeah. plop it in a pan, yeah. heat it up, and then put it over the uh noodles. Cooked noodles. Um, you would substitute instead of the flour or for um, thickening, you would substitute clear gel. Clear gel? And the same same amount of clear gel as you would use flour. And that's what they commercially use for canning. It is a modified cornstarch that is a high temp. And then you can use it for canning. And that would make it approved by the USDA, the recipe then. If you use flour, it's not approved. And it gets all gummy. I don't like flour when I can because it gets really gummy. Mm -hmm. And you got to be careful, too, with using that kind of seasonings and stuff because they put flour in it. Yes. yes. Oh, right? They hey, do. Thor. They really do. So, um, Also, you have to be very careful what seasonings you use. Um, I'm really sensitive to sage. It turns very bitter really quick so a lot of sausages have sage in it so you have mm. i make my own sausage to can well i just use ground pork and make my own sausage seasoning leaving out the sage then when i open it i just put a little ground sage on top when i'm frying it and then it tastes like store-bought <laughs> so that, that's the trick hey. uh, well we have been on here uh, for over an hour and a half and I know that they would like their kitchen back <laughs> so let's come, here. Come, here. Sit my lap. come here you can sit in my lap and say hi again oh my god you weigh 10,000 pounds so what's up everybody so what's going down hey Fred <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, do you see them in there? <laughs> There's people in that computer. Mom, huh? there's people in there. <laughs> but I know I know both of you have things to do today too. So I am gonna go ahead and close out the broadcast now. I just really appreciate everybody. You guys you guys have made my day today. And thank you so much. I will and see thank you, you for all. the extra information. Yep. I will I will see you all on Thursday again, we'll do try to do another live, uh, our usual Thursday evening one. We'll be on Courtney's on Friday at noon. 
Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you all, all later. Thank you all. Bye-bye.